Percy was working in the coal mines. He was feeling bored and lonely, with only the silly trucks for company. Cheer up, Percy, said his driver. The fat controller has told me that we must be here again tomorrow. We've just got to make the best of a bad situation. I'll try, sir, sighed Percy. Next morning, Percy puffed back to the coal mines. When he arrived, the truck started teasing him. Percy, Percy, green and small, he's no use to us at all. Around the yards he'll puff and blow, but on the hills he's oh so slow. Be quiet! Then he took the trucks to the coal hopper to be loaded up. Percy still felt glum, but said nothing as he puffed up the steep incline to the yards at the top of the hill. He parked his trucks and then set off back down to the mines. Not even the cheerful sight of Bertie the bus could bring a smile to Percy's face. What's the matter, Percy? asked Bertie. Nothing exciting ever happens, that's the matter, sighed Percy. It's just coal, coal, coal and trucks, trucks, trucks. I'm bored, bored, bored. Excitement is surprising, observed Bertie. You never know when it'll happen, otherwise it wouldn't be exciting. Tootle peep. It would be surprising if something surprising happened, muttered Percy. Later, he stopped by the water tower for a drink. Hello, Percy, how are things? asked Toby. Boring, replied Percy. Well, why not have a few fast spins on the turntable? You like that, said Toby. I think I just feel giddy. Percy's driver interrupted. Stop gossiping, you two. Cheer up, Percy. You'll soon know more about trucks than any other engine. That'll be exciting, called Toby. The trucks were still grumbling, and there was more of them than ever. You're much too small to pull all of us. We want another engine, or we'll be struggling up the hill all night. All night, all right. You can puff and blow. But on that hill, you're still too slow. S -s -s slow yourself, stuttered Percy. Temper, temper, giggled the trucks. Percy decided just to carry on. Go to it, Percy, shouted the driver as they started to climb the hill. The trucks were still joking. Too slow, more power, here all night, tomorrow too. Be quiet, said Percy angrily. Then there was trouble. A coupling broke. Surprise, surprise, catch us if you can. Oh, no! cried Percy. <laughs> Percy's driver told the signalman, and the yard foreman told the fat controller what was happening. They're heading for the big hill. It'll slow them down, but they may roll back again. Right into the village, said the foreman. Then we'll just have to stop them, won't we? said Sir Topham Hat firmly. The chase was on. As they approached the hill, they overtook the trucks. The fat controller and Bertie screeched to a halt and waited for them near the top. The hill slowed the trucks right down to a standstill. Then the men quickly put wooden blocks behind their wheels so they couldn't roll backwards. The trucks were now secured. Just then, Percy arrived. Well, what did you think of that? joked Percy. A good chase is always exciting. It certainly was a surprise, decided Percy. And you were right, Percy. A really useful engine should never be surprised by surprise. <laughs>